the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has condemned the passing of a bill seeking to give leaders of federal and state legislatures immunity from prosecution for corruption. SERAP, in a statement issued by its Deputy Director, Kalawali Uluadari, on Tuesday, said the move is tantamount to ripping up the nation's constitution. The organization therefore called on the lower chamber to immediately withdraw the bill, vowing to challenge the decision. Providing immunity for presiding officers against crimes of corruption is tantamount to ripping up the constitution. It is a blatant assault on the rule of law and breach of public trust. The group warned that if the lawmakers have their way by passing the bill into law, they will succeed in denying Nigerians of their rights to make leaders accountable for the people, to the people. This comes shortly after the lawmakers sought to extend immunity to cover presiding officers of legislative institutions. The bill, which was sponsored by representatives at Debumi Ulushegu, was supported by the majority of the lawmakers who say it is important to safeguard the sanctity of the National Assembly. Now, joining us via telephone is a legal practitioner, Barrister Ayo Ademi Luyi. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be on to be, to be on this uh, news live program. All right. Um, what's your take on this immunity bill? Is it necessary, really, at this time? Well, it, first of all, it is on the point of law. It is not only uh, necessary, uh, given that uh, the provisions of the Constitution or the Federal Authority of Nigeria especially provides against what the lawmakers are, are trying to push. But at the same time, it's the fact that uh, the current uh, legislative attempt to close themselves with immunity is in itself another attempt to tinker with the constitution of the Republic of Nigeria. It should be condemned roundly by all sections of society. Our experience thus far in our democratic uh, 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 collective experience thus far, has shown that immunity is more or less another uh, escape route for even the members of the, members of the executive to uh, go away with horrendous uh, corruption, corruption uh, stories, as the case may be. Now, going down the same route, the legislators is an enforcement of the expropriation of the collective wealth of uh, Nigeria. According to the media report just recently, these same legislators want to increase their jumbo pay. So uh, this is a period where we are recording highest uh, inflation rates in Africa, where we are recording um, poor wages for workers, where we are recording economic crisis all over. This is the same period when they said they are going to increase the value added tax and many other things, which has increased the burden on the majority of poor Nigerians. Yes, they want to clothe themselves with immunity. They have rejected the the Nigerian cars. They have uh, uh, resolved to buy foreign cars for themselves. And now they are even proposing to increase their jumbo pay. We want to assure the National Assembly, not only as lawyers, but as block of civil society, that if they attempt to continue with that anti-people beast, they will meet severe and uh, militant opposition, not only in the chambers of the assembly, but on the streets of Nigeria. Don't you, thank, thank you. Don't you, just before you go, don't you think that this bill um, is likely to encourage impunity among the lawmakers, considering as it is, we've had cases uh, where lawmakers were found culpable of certain disreputable behavior? Very well. It will, it will not only deepen impunity, but it will even deepen the excesses of legislative business. We are already complaining about the SS uh, uh, course, this National Assembly and the State National Assembly are out on the, expense, on the income and expenditure of the Nigerian state. It will deepen, it will deepen impunity in the highest level and even deepen uh, the grandstanding among the legislators. We are even saying that legislative business in Nigeria should be made a part-time business. It should only be allowed to sit in allowance 
as it happens all over the world. In fact, in advanced uh, uh, capitalist countries, you have situations where legislators are even ordinary citizens who, go about, who have the uh, gainfulness of employment and who do a legislative business only for the purposes of, uh, of, uh, of making laws and all of that. This is another, another attack on our, on our democratic space. This is another attempt to take us back to the, to the dark ages, and it was resisted by all. The, even our, our, we have been clamoring for immunity clauses on uh, governors and on the president and other members of the executive to be removed. And now these people are, are, are ganging up to remove, to even impose on themselves, close on themselves, immunity clauses. It must not see the light of the day. Thank you very much, Barrister, for your yes. time on the news. Thank you, sir.